When Europe invented ways to mass produce iron and steel in the 1800s, the scene was set for them to become two of the world's most widely used metals. People could now build new types of structures, taller buildings, or elegant facades. Engineers could make powerful steam engines, construct large ships, lay millions of kilometers of railway track, and invent new ways to move people and goods around faster by road. Machinery made from iron and steel mechanized agriculture and altered the way things were done, the way people lived. This industrial revolution produced massive changes in society, and these haven't stopped. New steels are still being developed, and old ones refined to meet the changing demands of our modern lifestyle. But iron and steel share a common problem. They go rusty and can eventually be destroyed by corrosion. Paint is often used to protect them, but if the paint film is broken, the protection is lost. When this happens, the bare steel reacts with oxygen and water vapor in the air to form rust, or more correctly, hydrated iron oxide. An alternative protection method is to coat the surface with a thin layer of zinc. This works in two ways. First, zinc has a good resistance to corrosion. Also, if the protective layer is broken, the zinc continues to protect the steel. It sacrifices itself by galvanic corrosion. Unfortunately, when all the zinc is used up, the steel is then completely unprotected. Corrosion can even make reinforced concrete structures, such as balconies and bridges, unsafe. It's been calculated that the cost of replacing corroded steel components and preventing corrosion works out at almost 5% of the annual wealth created by a country. Corrosion makes everything more expensive. Manufacturers have to increase the price of their products to cover the cost of corroding machinery and buildings. Consumers pay for corrosion when they have to replace things like this washing machine. The painted carbon steel body has rusted badly, but the stainless steel drum is as good as new. So it's not surprising that the bodies as well as the drums of commercial washing machines are made from stainless steel. Businesses and civic authorities are now becoming more interested in avoiding the cost of corrosion reducing the cost of owning things by making them out of stainless steel. A free computer program is available to work out the savings that can be obtained. Car manufacturers know that consumers want to avoid the cost of corrosion, so new cars use stainless steel somewhere in their exhaust system. Some manufacturers even use it instead of cast iron for the exhaust manifold. This not only reduces waste, but it lets the catalytic converter heat up faster and cleans the exhaust gas quicker. The converter's body is also made from stainless steel as are critical parts of the silencer. Wherever you look, people are becoming more and more concerned with the cost of owning things, and stainless steel is being used to reduce maintenance costs. Sometimes you can see it, at other times it's completely hidden from sight. But whichever way you use it, you can be confident that stainless steel will perform superbly. <laughs>